G'day folks and welcome to an incredible reef, one of many on the Great Barrier Reef. We're at Moore Reef on Sun Lover Cruises pontoon about 40 kilometres east of Cairns. A special night awaits as we prepare our cameras in anticipation for the annual coral spawning. On the team tonight we have marine biologists, photographers and filmmakers. Gab has captured many incredible images of past spawnings. Hopefully uh, different colonies, different varieties. Um, try to capture the small details. I'm gonna go shoot with a macro. I'm gonna change my lens now. Try to capture uh, hopefully a unique shot, something that I haven't seen before. Abby, a marine biologist for Sun Lover Cruises, has been monitoring this site closely with Candela over this year. Early this year we had a cyclone come through so we've noticed a big change. There's some patches out out this way um, that haven't, aren't doing the greatest which is interesting because the rest of the reef all out here is still beautiful. We've got a lot of diversity, a lot of plate corals and branching corals. It'll be nice to see what happens after the coral spawning tonight. So last year I mostly saw soft corals so this year I'd love to see a lot of the branching corals go off. Um, specifically though, I'd want to see those boulders and the smoky effect that comes out after they've released their sperm and eggs. I'm super excited to be honest. I've never seen anything like that, so I think it's going to be really interesting to see. But the one that Abby says, the boulder coral, I would love to see one, but any spawning would be great.
saw this uh, brittle star was dancing. The legs was doing like a, some dancing and suddenly start to do a spawning and release some green eggs. Yeah, it was, was amazing. And, and then start like doing more dancing and release a lot of green eggs there. So I was lucky enough to see a, a trichus or a purple top shell uh, kind of prancing up on its on its uh, back legs, if you like, almost. We see these guys in the daytime pretty often as well, but in the daytime they're obviously um, they're obviously closed up, and you don't see any of their fleshy mantle underneath, like the body. So seeing the whole mantle exposed in the daytime was was pretty cool, and seeing the actual sperm being released was uh, a pretty uh, intimate and surreal thing to see, actually. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Uh, seems to be like everything happened at the same time, around nine o'clock. Heaps of spawning, everything you could think of. So we wanted to see all the hard corals going off and you'd sit there next to, next to all the branching corals and there'd just be big puffs of everything coming out. Even a GoPro picked it up, so that was pretty awesome. some samples that I uh, collect last night um, just out of curiosity actually it's different just to see it through the camera lens uh, while you are in the water than rather than collecting later on in a bucket yesterday they were more red they had a more intense color uh, now they looks like they fading looks more white or pink but once they are being released you can clearly see them individually and now they just look like a like a paste, like a, like they got together in a, like a one giant mucus thing. Well, last night was the night of nights for the Great Barrier Reef here at uh, Moore Reef. Uh, Gab and me spent about three and a half hours in the water. During that time we probably caught about 20 different species of coral. Initially it was the soft corals that we saw, the usual suspects out here at uh, Moore Reef, and that followed by the hard corals around about nine o'clock. And um, it was, it was a spectacular. God, I'm really tired, aren't I? Whew. I had a coffee.